We have about six to seven weeks left. 42 is, is hard, but this is what it all comes down to. Every weekend, we're running above 20 kilometers. <laughs> this part of the training where you really have to get through. The marathon is less than one and a half months away, so at this point, it's just grind time. Okay. Yeah. I always thought it was not training. These are just us, me and you, just having time to be together. What I like to do is, during the week, we pick a day and try to go to different routes and just run. And sometimes we just walk. And that's part of us just getting ready for whatever we're about to do next. So my regular week consists of six days of running, one day's intervals, one day's a uh, tempo, and one day's a long run. Um, so that's what a typical training looks like for me. Every Thursday, I'm running up to 11, 12 kilometers. Every Wednesday, I've gone to do that dreaded tempo run. I have to get in the strength training because I see when I fall off of something, I can see that in the results. I don't consider myself the, 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 the typical marathon runner in the sense that I don't necessarily have like a running program, so I don't necessarily have a schedule. I think a lot of my schedule depends on my family. So I think that's, first and foremost, that's how I, how I kind of gauge my training. I can't remember a day off. I can't remember an easy run. Things that used to be easy now seem hard. Uh, long ones that I used to look forward to. I'm dreading them a little bit even though they're usually my favorite, just because I know that there's not much left inside me to give. It's crazy because sometimes I'm like, how I don't know how I'm going to, I'm not sure how I'm going to accomplish it. And I always have to remember on my runs, three weeks ago, you couldn't do this. You know, two weeks ago, this number seem unimaginable. But if I follow through on the process, if I'm honest with myself, if I show up, if I do my absolute best, then I'm gonna move forward, right? Forward is a pace. It doesn't always have to be fast. It just needs to be forward. I look at training as, I know I gotta do the kilometers, so I gotta build up to it. But I also give myself a bit of grace. Tennis ball is for keeping pace, staying active, staying engaged in my run, so I don't get bored. Because I think that the mental aspect of running is, you know, being able to know you can do it, but also if you can't do it, you know, having a bit of grace and not having the, the stress. So that's, that's what my training looks like. Go, 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 finish strong. For them, they really are hard on themselves when they're in the moment and they don't accomplish what they actually want to accomplish. Uh, and they've learned that from the past. So for them now, they're very adamant about training together once a week. So when they do get there, they know that they're going to put their 100%. And also it just allows us to spend time together leading up to the marathon. So when the marathon comes, it's more of all the times that we've spent together uh, they put it together in the run, so it means more to them at that point. Hello, hello, how's it going? Good to see you. I do appreciate my, my solo runs, but I also appreciate crew runs as well. There's something about the commodity of, of doing that journey with other people that I think is very special. And the amount of love and support that I get from the running community, I'm, I'm so thankful for. Find a group to carry you through. You're gonna have good days and bad days. The marathon's like that, it's not a, not a sprint. And you know, it's like anything in life. If you're having a rough time, uh, who do you turn to? You turn to your family and your friends. And that's what our community is. Like, whenever you're feeling tired, 
um, you see people ahead of you and you're like, I'm not gonna fall behind, I'm gonna stay with them. I find I actually run faster. It almost feels a little bit easier because of the social aspect. Um, I love like talking to people, getting energy from people. It's that sense of belonging. I remember, you know, no one is left behind and that's one of the coolest things about it is that people have eyes everywhere and everyone's always making sure everyone's okay. I often call it therapy. We cover so many different things, different topics. We, we plan ideas about things that are meaningful and help me be a better person. So get out there, one foot in front of the other, find some friends, join the community, and we all, we all have a part to play in building it, in changing our city, in making our city a better place. Building the kind of city, the kind of neighborhood that you want to live in. And to be honest, the first few months, I was like, okay, this is hard, but like, this is actually like more on my mind. Uh, but rounding off in these last few months, it's, it's not just my mind, it's my body too. I'm tired. If you're training for a marathon, you're not just gonna put on your shoes and, and expect to do it with ease. And I always say, you know, I, you have to run with your mind and with your heart. Without mental strength, it, it's tough. So you really have to be tough mentally. Like pushing your mind past that uncomfortable feeling um, and creating new pathways that say like, when you face a challenge, it says like, you're equipped to do this. When I get tired, I tell myself just to finish. Don't look back, you've already passed that. Training for something, uh, you know you have to get out and do it uh, if you wanna be prepared and be the best that you can be uh, on, on race day. But if you've trained a lot, you've, you've put in your miles, you've put in, you've run your kilometers, you know, you, you should be prepared. How if someone is really determined to do something and they have that support or that encouragement, uh, anything is uh, possible. Like your body's gonna kick in, your mind's gonna kick in, and you're gonna be able to get past this. And although it's uncomfortable right now, like remember how you felt the last time you did it. I, I love that feeling of just really having to tough it out. And I think that's why we do it, is because we want that sense of, I did that. <laughs> <laughs>